Apple versus Android and privacy. It's one of the most read posts on our site and for good reason. It shows you how to control who's sharing your location because the most personal, personal possession, your smartphone, can be sharing your exact location hundreds, sometimes thousands of times a day. And it's really accurate, like down to a few feet. Your work location, the gym, the doctor's office location, the kid's school location, coffee shops, taverns, pretty much anywhere you happen to be with your phone, anywhere. Think about that. I've done a ton of videos over the years that show you how to protect your privacy online, from that whole Facebook thing to what Google Vault can see, to how scammers are using your voicemail and even fake genealogy sites that try to trick you into giving them your private information. You can check them all out on techwellness.com. Click on videos, then look for privacy and cybersecurity. Today, though, I want to share a story from the New York Times that shows you just why all these apps want to know where you are all the time. It's called, Your Apps Know Where You Are, and They're Not Keeping It a Secret. The Times got access to a set of data that covered location information for smartphone users in the New York City area over a couple of months. They found a volunteer who was willing to share her locations with the world. Pretty brave, right? On average, she was being tracked every 20 minutes, day and night, for weeks on end. Look, here's all the spots she was tracked to. It includes her doctor's office, Weight Watchers, her ex-boyfriend's house, hiking, just like everywhere she went. Now, this is a picture of every location tracked by every smartphone in the whole area during this time. That's pretty much everywhere. Today, there are over a thousand apps that collect and share your location and vote to advertisers and others who are really interested in how you live your life. Some of them track every user thousands of times a day. They're not scammy apps either. It's like Weather Channel, which is owned by IBM, The Weather Bug, a sports app called The Score, and hundreds of others. They consolidate the location data and sell it to advertisers. And they even sell it to financial firms like hedge funds who might be interested in the number of people entering a particular retail store, for example. Listen to what the spokesperson for one of the firms said. He said this, we look to understand who a person is based on where they've been and where they're going in order to influence what they're going to do next. Whoa. Like 1984. The Times tracked people who worked in hospitals and schools at nuclear power plants. Even this woman who went to Planned Parenthood and she stayed there for two hours or he stayed there for two hours. So scary, right? Come on, seriously. Who would say yes to sharing that kind of deeply personal information? Not me. You know what I always say, take control of your phone so it doesn't control you. There's some really easy things you can do. First, turn off your location services for all those apps. It's easy. Here's how you do it for an iPhone. Go to settings, tap privacy, tap location services. A list of every app asking for your location appears. Just toggle them off. Here's how to do it for Android. Go to settings, tap location you'll see apps that have used your location recently and those that have requested location. Go into each app and toggle off location. I love these August Faraday bags. They're made with patented radio frequency blocking technology developed by my friends over at Silent Pocket. Top quality, beautiful. And I really wanted to create a Faraday a woman would love carrying. So they're soft, yummy vegan leather. Mm but they're even strong enough to block side channel attacks. These are a new thing, and they come from apps that download sensors that can even track you, listen to this, when location services are off. I love the leopard, the rose gold, so cool because it also matches our AirTube headsets. We have pink, we also have black. You're untraceable and unhackable when your phone is safe inside. And I love that there's no radiation. There's a link to get your very own, and this is really important. Now you might say, I don't care if an app knows where I am, whatever. But we all need to do everything we can to protect our privacy, and the privacy of our kids, come on especially. When it's as easy as tapping a few buttons on your phone or slipping it into a really stylish case, you owe it to yourself and your family. I'm August Bryce. Now, if you found this video interesting or helpful or entertaining, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share my video. We love our subscribers and I love when you share a video. And until next time, be well.